So you'll want to select the marker that's going to be your root marker, and then select another marker that is in the direction of your lens. Continue to select the other markers. This will make up our virtual camera. So we're going to save that as a prop and name it VCAM1. So that Vicon recognizes that it's a camera, we're going to enable the track with object tracker. That's going to just slightly smooth out your tracking data. So now we're going to do the same process with our calibration target, which is the tracker that we'll be using to calibrate our stage. Just hold control and select the root, and then the next marker that's in the direction that you want your object to face. And then select the other markers, and then we're going to create that as a prop as calibration target one. So now both of those are ready for tracking and we're going to check the port uh, to make sure that uh, we are sending out on the same port that in Unreal we're going to receive. You want to check your IP address so that you can use that. You can type in IP config into a command prompt. And then we're going to head over to Unreal Engine to set up the VP toolkit inside of Unreal to receive this signal. You'll want to make sure that the Vicon plugin is enabled in your project. You may have to restart your project once you've enabled this. So you'll want to go to your Live Link tab. If you don't see your Live Link tab, you can go to Windows virtual production, and then live link. We're going to put the IP address of our Vicon server. This is the machine that is running Vicon. And then we're going to want to confirm that, that the port matches the port in the Vicon server. And then we're going to hit create. If your network is set up correctly and they're seeing each other, you should get the signal from Vicon. So in Vicon, you should be able to see your client machine show up, which is really cool. You can kind of see how many machines are connected to Vicon and you'll see all of your end display clusters with this as well. So in Unreal Engine, you want to save your live link preset. Uh, so I have multiple live link presets already in here. I'm going to just change the name. Uh, if you want them in your plugin so you can bring them from project to project, make sure you put them into the user folder and live link presets. Once you've saved that preset, you want to go to your project settings and then scroll down to live link. You'll want to set the live link to be the default so that when your end display and other editors uh, are launched and fire up with uh, Unreal Engine, it will have this live link preset as its default. You go to the Frustum widget, go to tracking, enable tracking, select a live link subject. We're going to select the VCAM1 that we created in Vicon. Your camera tracking should now be live. We can see the way that the prop is coming in from Vicon is upside down. So we're going to use our calibration tracker to just set that lens offset so that we're not trying to manually uh, adjust for that. You just want to enable the use tracker section and then select a live link source. You want to confirm that, that the calibration actor is live. So you'll want to put this calibration target on the front of your camera lens and just confirm that forward right and up axis are correct X which is red is forward Z which is blue is up and then Y which is green is right so if you needed to offset it in Y you can use the Y, y rotation to offset any uh, forward spinning axis if it you need to turn something on its side to be able to use this. You'll want to put your pupil distance 
which is the distance from wherever your tracking device's root is to the pivot point of your lens. You hit the set button. You want to make sure that your camera is level when you do this. And right now our camera is not. Try and get the calibration as flat on the lens as you can possibly get it to get an accurate calibration. Uh, you want to pick up your camera and move it around to make sure that your camera's pivot point seems to be uh, reacting the same as your camera configuration virtually. So now we're going to drop a camera marker. I'm going to name that Vicon setup. In the notes, I'm going to put camera frustum with Vicon lens offset. I'm not going to make this a previs because it is a production camera. And now I can load that at any time. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.